So we're going to throw all this uh, out and uh, I'm going to show you how sweet these Wagos are. And then we insert uh, the wire. They're transparent. See that the wire is fully inserted. We flip this down and now that is not coming off. Today I want to show you a product that uh, I have uh, recently been using and it has really transformed my life and the ability to accomplish home repairs, little hobby projects, etc. And I think a lot of you will uh, enjoy this as well. This is not sponsored or anything. I bought uh, these with my own money and have been using them and uh, just wanted to pass on the, uh, the good word. The product uh, we're going to be looking at uh, today are these uh, Wago connectors. I have an assortment of sizes and they have even more. Uh, this here has five ports for wires. This one here has three ports for wires. This one here has two, and this is uh, more of an inline splice type connector. Let me show you a couple of reasons why this is awesome. First, the standard wire nut uh, here, when you put it on, causes uh, damage to the wire and uh, is technically a one-time use. You're not uh, supposed to uh, reuse a wire nut after it's been used once. Let me show you why. So I got these two uh, scrap pieces of wire and I'm gonna wire nut this together. I'm gonna need both hands, so hang on one second. There we go, it's been wire nutted. Now watch what happens when I uh, take this off. This camera's probably not gonna focus enough for you to see, but uh, on the edge of this wire in particular, let's see if we can catch a reflection or anything that may there. Can you see how there are notches in the wire where the threading inside the wire nut cut into the wire? So that's what uh, the wire nut relies on to hold itself in place. And uh, if you try to, if you unscrew it and then try to screw it back on, uh, it uh, won't cut properly back into the wire and uh, potentially be a bad connection. So that's one of the reasons why uh, you try not to reuse the wire nut. You have to cut the wires and then use a new wire nut to properly splice the wires or connect the wires. Another common issue that you run into is needing to use stranded wire and uh, mate that up with solid wire like this. And that uh, is a big issue that I run into all the time. I'm putting in like a new light fixture or something and the light fixture comes with stranded wire and I'm connecting to standard Romex, which is solid and wire nuts and stranded wire going on solid wire are just kind of a pain. So we're gonna throw all this uh, out and uh, I'm gonna show you how sweet these Wagos are. First off, they've got a little strip gauge on the side, and so you can see exactly how much wire insulation you need to remove, okay? And then to connect a wire, it's as easy as lifting up one of those little flaps right there, and then we insert uh, the wire. And the awesome thing about this is they're transparent, so you can actually see that the wire is fully inserted, which is very handy. And then we just simply flip this down and now that is not coming off. So there's no twisting or anything that needs to happen. That is a solid connection. What about connecting stranded wire to solid wire? Once again, piece of cake. We just take the Wago and uh, we insert the, uh, the strand wire properly, flip the lever down, our solid wire goes in the other end, flip the lever down, and we're, we're strong. It's not coming off any of those. What if you have a junction box with you know multiple wires? Well, you can just get uh, one of these multi-port Wagos and uh, they will act as a little bus bar. So we can just easily insert uh, wire one, insert wire two, insert wire three. And uh, I should probably, after you insert each wire, I would probably close the levers. 
And just like that, we've connected three wires together. Piece of cake. The other awesome thing is how small they are. So this wire nut right here is good for 14 gauge up to 12 gauge. Just those two gauges of wire. And this is a single wire nut. So, you know, you can see it dwarfs you know, one of these connectors that just connects two wires like this is supposed to do. And uh, it's still bigger than the three connector. And uh, you can see here that uh, the five connector is basically the same length and still a skinnier profile this way. So you save a ton of room in tight junction boxes and stuff by using these Wago connectors as well. Other thing that's awesome on that note is they are rated, and uh, you're gonna have a hard time seeing this, but uh, this connector right here is rated for wire sizes 24 gauge all the way up to 12 gauge. You can use any size wire in that range with this one connector. Most wire nuts are only bridging you know, like two gauge sizes. Now you have to get different wire nuts for different sizes. So this just helps simplify your collection of wire connectors substantially. One of the best ways to buy these connectors are in these sets that come with assorted sizes. And this particular one came with this awesome uh, semi-clear case with these nice uh, dividers and organizers so it's super easy to keep track of everything. I'll leave a link for this one uh, down in the description below but uh, there are an assortment uh, of sizes and uh, options. Check it out and uh, get yourselves one because this is something you guys don't realize you need until you get it and try it and you realize Wow, how have I been living life this long without using these? <laughs> I know I've been asking myself that question uh, lately. They have been truly uh, a game changer with the, the projects and uh, repairs and stuff that I need to do around the house. All right, something uh, else that's uh, pretty handy is you do not need to use all the ports on the connector. In this example here, I've got two wires connected in a three port. So I have an extra port here on the end and there are no exposed conductors or anything that uh, pose a risk. Uh, you can totally get away with having empty ports. And then another sweet feature that I love. So that's the side that the wires go into. This is the opposite end right here. We're gonna take this wire and pretend it's a probe from a multimeter, but uh, you can actually probe the wires there's a little hole right here on the end, the opposite end that you can't, that only a skinny thing like a probe can get into. But uh, can you see how that wire is sticking in there? And it makes contact with the bus bar inside these connectors. And uh, you're able to probe it and measure, you know, the voltage or whatever, uh, and check to see if things are safe before you start disconnecting and touching things. They have different sizes as well in terms of if you need something bigger than, you know, 12 gauge. But uh, these uh, are rated up to 300 volts, 20 amps of current. This is the back side, and uh, I don't know if you can see, but uh, you can see the end of the wire sticking out here, and then the wire coming in right here. Anyway, notice all of this metal right here. So that whole surface there, plus the clamp on the top holding it in place, uh, is a huge amount of surface area. A lot more surface area than, you know, the teeth on the wire nut. The, the wire nut is essentially just trying to sandwich, you know, the wires together and hopefully you get enough surface area that, you know, the current can uh, transfer through okay. I think this setup here gives you much more surface area consistent across the board so that uh, you have as little resistance as possible and as a result minimize risks of heat and fire. You know, the only con I can think of with the way goes over a standard wire nut is cost. These do cost a little bit more 
than your average wire nut. But I guarantee you as a homeowner and a DIYer, the added cost for the additional flexibility and ease of use, and for that matter, safety, I think, on the way goes is way worth it. I've got uh, links to the, the kit I got to down in the description. They have different sizes, so check out all the sizes. Start with just a small pack or just a few of them and try them. Put uh, this to the test, but I guarantee that uh, you will absolutely love these. Videos like this one are brought to you by you. I do this uh, for you guys. Again, this video is not uh, sponsored or uh, anything. This is just uh, something I purchased with my own money and have been playing with and uh, absolutely love. Please give me the like and please uh, consider subscribing. That uh, is very beneficial to me because it gives me the excitement and motivation and uh, positive feedback uh, that I need uh, from you to continue making these kinds of videos that I think have a lot of value to you that are 100% free. You just get to see them on YouTube. Uh, your support and uh, your, your participation and feedback is helpful. Liking and subscribing doesn't cost you anything, but uh, benefits the channel greatly. So please consider that, and we'll catch you next time.